What's going on everybody? My name's Chris and welcome back to another exciting episode of Let's Play Pitfall the Lost Expedition. Yeah, I do a smash on his face! Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, in the last episode, we made it to a giant area and we also, I'm pretty sure it took forever for us to get to um, find the freaking idol. We did two really long things last episode essentially. First things first here, what? There's a monkey sleeping in the tree if you listen here, he's snoring. Isn't it adorable? But he's holding something shiny. Let's be rude and destroy this side. will actually took forever for me to figure out. <laughs> um, oh, I love how it bounces in there too. It's so cool. Uh huh. Now he's awake and he, he's like, he, what a good monkey guy. Like seriously, he just swing around here. I hit him in the face and he's still just having a good time. He's like, well, it's time to wake up. E e ooh. <laughs> take my monkey impression. Thank you. I take much pride in it. Whoa. But avoid. Look at all these gophers too that are really. I don't understand why they're so creepy in the freaking journal. They are. And yeah, gotta destroy all the freaking ancient statues. Don't know why. Ooh, I could actually refill that up now. Assuming that's from when we bought from the shaman. It's, it'd be weird for me to just drink one. Oh my good lord. Look at all the monk. Oh, there's bush ninjas too. There's two bush ninjas. Why are there so many. Bush ninjas! Oh, good lord! I thought that would work, but apparently not. Uh, well, let's see again. Oh no, I woke one up. I have started the family feud. <laughs> what? I don't know what it's family feud for. Alright, um, i just take care of these guys. <laughs> this actually might be the first time I die for re Well, I'll die on. Oh! Ha! <laughs> you see, this one's fainted. That's because they got hit by a melon! I saw if they hit. <laughs> no! I died! I think that's the first time I actually died. For realsies. Oh, I gotta start all over. I'm gonna get like. Did it. Everything started over? Wow, it's like I started this entire episode over. Well, it'll, don't worry, it'll be a lot quicker this time. It's not have to like explain stuff, just kind of speed running tactics! Uh, oh no, oh good lord. Well, <laughs> the timing could be a bit better on that. Whoa! Hoo <laughs> hoo <laughs> uh, I should probably use my canteen. Get my canteen ready. Oh, look at the adorable little tucos. Oh, yeah. I feel that again now. So freaking obnoxious, man. Um, I don't think we have the ability to. What? How'd that guy wake up? What? If you actually take a look at here, in all this chaos, there's actually an idol. <laughs> I always... That one's actually pretty easy to get. I guess the whole challenge is it's obvious, but... Managing to get it while you're getting freaking bombarded by melons all over the place? Oh, come on, we're so close here. Is that it? There's one more... Oh, there he is. Alright, just keep dodging. Ah! That guy was only knocked out. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I thought they go bush to bush. Is he done? Yeah, he's done. Anybody else? Is anyone over there? No. You know, I just have to destroy all the families and homes. Which? Oh, he's in this one. Come on. Ah, come on. If I die to you, sir, I'll be very sad. Alright, let's not take any risks here. That'd be a bit silly of a donk donk. <laughs> I almost forgot I had the rising strike here. I was about to go. Oh no! I can't go this way! But yo, I totally can. I don't know why I said yo, I meant to say yeah. <laughs> Yo, yeah, same thing, really. Aha! Oh, no! Oh, I was gonna say, I thought there was a thing there that fell. Oh, boy. Oh, boy! Destroy all the statues, and of course, you didn't fall for that trap. That's actually the way we need to go, I do believe. I do declare. Let's go this way. Oh, no, there's more scorpions! And, ooh, this place looks like a big... To climb this. Yeah, we need a pickaxe to climb that. Looks like it go for a lot of money if you harvest those crystals. I wonder what kind that is. Hmm. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know why that was a question I asked. Oh! For some reason I thought this ladder would be broken. Kill me, kill, 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 kill. Yeah, that guy's a bit crazy. But yeah, if you look carefully, there's a guy hiding behind here. Well, not really. I guess it, it was a cave-in. Jeez, that's kind of scary. All these rocks caved in on this guy. I don't know why he was like standing near that part of the cave, anyways. Like, what's the point? <laughs> oh, good lord. Take out our torch. I have actually edited some episode, well, one episode at a time of recording this. Um, and I was, I haven't been complaining about how dark it is. Apparently, in the recording, it's it's just my TV. 
it seems, uh, because in editing the videos, it doesn't look nearly as dark. So that's great. Uh, yeah, if you if you're not if you're not careful here, these bats will actually gradually take away your health. You have to actually swing your torch around manually. They don't just like you know run into it. Oh, good lord! I don't know why I expected. Uh, a oh, you know what? We got ha, he's spinning. Right. We can actually kill scorpions with our ground pound move now. That's fan being fantastic. Destroy all the stalagmite tights. I mean, I guess it's kind of both, isn't it? All right, let's go. Whoa, it's so bright even when we put our torch away. Shine bright like a diamonds. I, I don't know. Oh boy. More lava. The flooded courtyard. Hmm. That looks suspicious. Let's jump into it! Quick law! <laughs> people in your litter. Never picking up after yourselves. Hey, great, a handbook page. Super run technique. Where'd you find this? Oh, just happened to stumble across it. Like I coincidentally stumbled across you. Right. If you're really that lonely, you can hang out with me for a while. Me? <laughs> Get lonely? Me? King of the jungle, Earl of the banana tree, and Duke of all mangoes? You coming? Only so I can protect you. Protect me from what? Well, for starters, you got two tribes of natives and St. Clair's mercenaries all ready to kill each other. Who's gonna know who St. Clair is? St. Clair's guy. The last time something gave me the creeps that bad is when I woke up one day and found myself covered in maggots. You were covered in maggots? Maggots? Ah! Man, it always makes me so excited. To hear that Quick Claw's gonna join us, but he never does. It's really sad. You now have the heroic dash technique. Press X while moving, and you'll unleash a short burst of speed. Repeat the process to allow yourself to cross hot coals and avoid dangerous enemies. So essentially, we got the we got running shoes. It's amazing. I love it. I love this. This is probably gonna pretty much be moving throughout the entire game. Oh, it's just the best. I love it so much. Oh, it's just the whoa! I did not see that guy. Holy crap! I don't know how I avoided him. Now oh, the flood courtyard, a very memorable place. It'll be here quite a bit. Um, oh! I did not think he'd be able to get me from there. Sorry, I screamed. That was probably really loud. I get very scared when the alligators bite me. Hope you could understand that. Jeez. Is there anything over here? No, there's not. So there's a bunch we could do here. Well, that's not true. There's actually. Oh no! Wow, I don't know how I didn't take damage there. There's actually one big thing here that I'm. Been it's one of the things I dread. <laughs> uh, we are coming close to our first temple. Yep, there's temples in this game. It's pretty much a Zelda game. Oh, take close, man! Holy crap! So, these guys are interesting. And where they throw dynamite at you, but when you approach them, they like put their fists up to fight you, but they never hit you. And you just hit them, and that's it. <laughs> I don't I don't know. I don't get it. I don't understand why that happens, but it happens. So yeah, that's a thing apparently. Um <laughs> uh, so you can just avoid them. They can be pretty obnoxious. As in the hut you down. What's with all these pillars in this water? I never really understood that. Like was this originally like a large platform or something? It doesn't really look like it. Whoa! Alright, let's get you. Out here, looks like there's a knockdown statue here. For some reason, I feel St. Clair's men have something to do with that junk. Whoa! That junk. Alright. There's a door over there. However, it's sh sealed shut. So let's go over here instead. This place looks suspicious. To Monkey Temple! That sounds like a horrible place! <sighs> monkeys! I hate monkeys! Just kidding, I love monkeys. They're the best. Let's just come over here. There's a monkey on the wall! You might be wondering, well, what is this? Well, you see this little um, altar here. You actually have to light it. And it's like, you are worthy. Whoa, and like a bunch of fireflies fly around in a lot of like unnecessary directions. <laughs> and then finally landing there. Completing half the circle. You're never going to guess where the other half is. Runk. Spoilers, it's on the other side. Don't tell anyone that to see. Ah! You can often get away with running across the top poles and then immediately jumping. Yeah, I like that. But it doesn't always work. It's weird. It's weird. It's why TV keeps it weird. <laughs> it's really funny watching these guys, like, 
run and dive too, like really like over dramatic. Like, yeah. All right. Yeah, running honestly is a game changer. Uh, when I the last time I played this game was when I was kind of trying to speed run. I didn't get pretty far in the amount of time I played for. Um, I I was kind of stuck on what the heck to do before you get to run though, just because it's so. I mean, there's such it's such a long time before you gain the ability to run, right? Yeah. Here's this like waterlogged vehicle. Man, I love that this game takes place in like the 1930s. That's so cool to me. There needs to be more games like this. Honestly, I'm so sad there isn't like another oh, good pitfall game. I know that there are other pitfall games. I think I actually said in the last recording session there isn't any. In fact, there's even an iOS pitfall game, but I don't even know if that's like officially made or if someone's just like, you know, ripping off. Oh man. I'm sorry, statue. I'm sorry, ancient piece of history. I'm sorry. I have to do it in the name of the game. Yeah, you have to do this. <laughs> Well, at least it looked really cool. <laughs> but yeah, I, I really do wish there was like another game of this because I love this game. There's so many good lines in it and like good characters. I love uh, Harry. He's so snarky and full of himself. He's a great character. Ugh, so many good things. Um, yeah, yeah, I guess I already have that. Let's runneth over hereeth. And I go BAM! Go! Be free, fireflies! Be free! Fly away! Oh, good lord. Do we do this now? I guess we don't really have much of a choice. Pretty much everything else in this area is locked up to us. There are actually... Well, there's, I think there's one other way to go. And that's, um... Over here. Hey, look, it's a waterfall. You know what's behind a waterfall? Secrets. Oh, no! I didn't think that. There's lava behind there. I like how there's <laughs> healing fountains behind here. As if people think we're gonna mess that up. So there's actually another place to go over there, but... Well, actually, I guess we can go check that out. Why not, right? I'm sure, like, future Chris is like, Oh, now I have to edit another template. A sidebar, I guess. St. Clair's active... Oh, excavation camp. TNT... Never mind, we can't go this way. Huh. Oh, no, there is another way for us to go. It's over that way, but we can't go that way anyway, so we're just not gonna go that way. We will be going there soon! Oh, no, the prana's gonna totally bite my face. They didn't, for some reason. All right, I'll take it. I, I don't know why they didn't. Had a perfect opportunity to. Eat you two. They did not. Alas, they did no such thing. Uh, actually, we're getting close to the 15-minute mark, and I don't think there's uh, th well, there, there's a bit for us to do. But uh, let's go over here. We're not gonna go. We're not. I'm deciding not to do the monkey temple. This. Oh, I thought I could make that. I've got an element. Oh, you know what? Let's save myself some time by getting bit on purpose. <laughs> I like in games where it's like, you get caught by things on purpose just for a shortcut. Yeah, see I got flung up here since this is the last solid platform I stood on. I guess I wouldn't need to go this way. I believe we go this way and get an idol. Right? It is this way, yes, yes. Yes, yes, it's this way. Oh, good lord. Oh, there's a St. Clair man up here. It's weird, I don't see these guys climbing up these platforms like I do. I mean, they do have agility, apparently, with while they're diving, you see them do. Yeah, there we go. Kick him in the buns, just like Finn the Human, you know. Uh. Uh. Oh, that's always a scary jump to make. All right, so this is a cage up there. No matter how many times you try, you can't jump up there with that vine. It's a red herring. Uh, you know those crystals we saw in the last level before we got the run here? Um, it's actually you actually have to climb up there, and then that's how you that's how you get to that cage up there, but. That's not gonna happen for a while. Um, not actually not for a long time. Like near end game stuff, pretty much. Uh, no, I'm not gonna make that. Dang it! Yeah, there's no real good way to get there. Before. Well, maybe there is. We maybe do this, and maybe we could somehow. Nah, it's not gonna work. I was just saying, maybe we could just somehow make it to there from this, but there's no way. <laughs> oh, I wish, and that was a scary camera. Okay, well, looks like I have to go the long way around. Long way around! Didn't make as much progress in this episode as, a, as I would hope we would make, but that's okay. We have lots of time, and I am enjoying this game anyways. I don't want this to end quick. But at the same time, you know, I don't want this to be a 3 million hour Let's Play. <laughs> um, so, if you guys are interested in hearing the journal entries and all that, feel free to leave the episode now. 
Um, but if you do, they're interested in that, stay tuned. Uh, but yeah, if you're not, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Bye bye. Okay, entry eight. There's only one. Whoa, what the heck just happened? Whoa, not entry seven. We already read that, silly. Entry eight. January 25th, 1935. 1225 PM. Quick Claw showed up again. I'm sorry I don't think he's stalking me. He gave me a little info about the rumble in the jungle that's going on. Seems Clint Claire's men are stirring up trouble, stealing artifacts from the natives' ancestral homes. Uh, natives are always getting worked up about stuff like that, I've noticed. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. Also, it turns out there's actually two tribes of natives who are in the middle of a, who are, who are in the middle of a war. Great. Like I don't have enough to worry about. And I guess St. Clair's little helper I ran into is called Puska. Probably as bad news as St. Clair himself. As a and as a bonus, Quickclaw found one of the heroic handbook pages. The, the one for the heroic dash. Maybe this cat can be useful after all. Look how fast I'm running. Looks like St. Clair's men are clearing out a temple up ahead. I'll see if I can get past them to find what's in there first. Wow, I don't know why it was so much trouble for me to read. So much trouble. Uh, not hints. Bestiary, is there anything new on there? Uh, we already read the Tuco Tuco, but since I, that was the last episode I recorded last time, it said I'm not. Henchman. St. Clair always did tend to hire cheap help, and now is no exception. These guys may look tough, but the, they've got glass jaws. One punch, and they're out like a light. Only problem is that St. Clair keeps them supplied with TNT, so I've got to move fast if I want to get close and deliver that punch. <laughs> Uh, that's funny. Their main attack is throwing TNT at me. That's that sounds very expensive. <laughs> uh, just, oh, heroic door. That's weird. It's at the top. Um, from a heroic handbook, a, a Grecian boy developed this technique in 1134 BC to speedily send messages from Athens to Sparta. Using controlled breathing and focused bursts of energy, it allows the practitioner to repeatedly achieve great speeds for a short period of time without fatigue. Masters of the t technique run so quickly they could even traverse hot coals without feeling ill effects. That's cool. Alright, so that's the end for real now. Thank you guys so much for watching. And the next one, we'll tackle the monkey temple. And good lord, that is going to be sad times. I'm scared. <laughs> it is pretty hard. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye-bye.